not to sound selfish or like an asshole, but it's everything I want. It's like perfect, dude. It's like, I wish I had them on right now even to just talk about it. This is a funny story. This white right here I thought was done before um, on a previous shoe, on an S shoe back in the day. And it turned out not to be like this. But once I saw it, I was like, well, I really like it. So I'm going to keep it like that. And uh, real simple. But it also just like makes me feel like an older days like SXL shoe, you know? If you look at it from the top, it's a little puffy, but like not to the point where you're like, oh, that shit looks disgusting, you know? Like it's nice. The freaking padding right here on your heel is so good, dude. Like around the edges right here, if you get like a board primo to your like heel, if you get lucky enough to hit it right there where that is, you ain't gonna get hurt. If it gets above it, I can't promise you anything. And uh, also how the Marana's have the toe cap on the outside here. We went ahead and did this one like the Jameson that they did before, where they have the toe cap underneath, so that's a little bit more cleaner. We kept the Marana sole, because uh, it's just like a thick, good, like, good for impact shoe. It's gonna, it's gonna hold up for days. And I've skated a few pairs now, I wanna say I've skated three pairs. All of them have lasted me over a month, so I'm stoked on that. probably walk around in these for like two days and they're broken in like that's it whereas like other shoes I've had to walk around in for weeks if you choose to walk around in these for weeks before you go skate them that's the brokenness that you're gonna get already a perfect kickflip on day one whereas if you skate them on day two you may need to kickflip a couple times just to wear that in but dude if you wear them for like a week or two even like you get just so much more broken in feel you don't have to but you can or you can do the microwave like I do sometimes, whatever. And people trip out on that toe cap, man. Like, it's so good. Like, they don't understand until they use one. Like, it just makes it last. If, I, if you don't have that toe cap, I say your shoes are two weeks less, you know? Like, at least with flicks, you know? You get, like, two weeks more with the toe cap. Well, and I see a lot of people these days that have gotten used to skating in brand new shoes. I've never been that type of dude. I cannot skate in a brand new pair of shoes the way I want to, at least. I get very limited when I skate a brand new pair of shoes. Like, I can mainly only do tricks that don't involve flicking. Tray flips, yeah, because you don't get a full-on flick where you can get a Casper flip with that, you know, the too grippy. So, yeah, but the Battle of the Barracks, I actually have been skating those shoes for probably like three weeks to a month already. And of course, at that point, you want to put on new shoes, but I'm not about to miss a kickflip in a freaking game of skate. So I'm going to make sure I have these old shoes where my flick is on point. And yeah, that's the thing is like a lot of people will get their muscle memory adjusted to new shoes. But I, dude, I just feel like my shoes are older more than they're newer. And I, I don't know, I feel guilty for taking away from the company more than I need to. Like, you'd be surprised how little I order boxes, dude, because my shoes last so long. So you think four pairs of shoes, that's four months. And they send boxes of nine. I maybe order a, a two box a year, probably of that dude. But lately, more because I want to get these chillers and stuff. Cause they're all cozy. But yeah, skate shoes. I probably go through like twelve a year. So you imagine that probably saves the brand a little bit more money. Whereas dudes are ordering nine pairs a month, and you're, they're skating all nine every month. And I'm like, you're killing your dudes, and you're. It just doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah. I want to film a part for these. I want to film a special part just to put out for these because that's how much they mean to me. Actually, right when I landed, I got on the phone with him and he's like, dude, I got a sick idea for your shoe part. Like, I want to, I want to run it by you when uh, you get back. I was like, all right, cool, let's do it. But I mean, if we get footage out here, I hope it ties into whatever he wants to do back home because you know how him being in LA, he's got all these cool visions of like night filming through the city and like, just, like super sh sick shit like that. So like, we'll see. We'll see what happens. And then the footage we get here could be used for something else. You never know. That's the cool thing about skateboarding. It's just one never-ending project. 